So the only question I need answered is, what makes you think you'd be a good fit here? I am a very hard worker, sir, and extremely loyal. So be it my Labrador. But on the bright side, a girl like you, you don't want to be in a place like this. Matter of fact, some very close, very personal acquaintances of mine make more in one night than most of the partners here do in a week. And what do these friends of yours do, may I ask? Have you ever heard of the slippery cheetah girls down on Hudson? Playtime's over. Get out. You haven't a clue who you're messing with, little girl. I will give you the count of three before I rip those sunglasses off your face and shut them so far up your- in for your organization, honey. Thank you, Mrs. Willow. I just wish I had more. Any luck with the apartment? <sighs> I'm getting desperate. Actually, I have somebody stopping by this afternoon, so would you like to take a peek at it? Oh, I wish I could afford the place on my own, but my boss is a real cheapskate. What was that? Here you go. I made them myself this morning. Mm. God bless you, child. Hmm. You do the work of an angel. Now only if I can grow wings and fly out of here. <laughs> Have a great day. You too. And you can keep the furniture if you like. That would work for me. It belonged to my mother. She recently passed. So the kitchen is on the other side of the living room over here. And this section is the bedroom. This is where most of your dates will probably wind up. Am I right? So it's nice. And it's quiet, and I live right downstairs, so if you need anything, I'm usually home. The place is perfect. Great. What do you do, Ryan? What do you mean? For work. How are you going to pay the rent, dear? Garbage pickups are on Wednesdays, recycles every other Friday. You're going to love it here. 
I don't know. I was planning on using this weekend to catch up on these freaking exams. Oh, come on, Danny. We've been planning this for what now? I know, I know. Vito said I could go in late on Sunday and everything. <laughs> How many times did you have to jerk him off to make that happen? Shut up. God, I swear this kid is retarded. What? Nothing. Hey, I forgot to tell you. Brett Spring, someone for you to meet. Great. Wait, who is it? Is it that Alan kid? Maybe. A 40-year-old movie theater usher. Awesome. I heard he's hung like a horse. On second thought. I'm looking for Pastor John. I'm here with a donation. Oh, okay, great. Let's take a look. If this Alan character is so great, why isn't he setting you up with him? Oh, very funny. I'm serious. It's been, what, like five years now? I can't go five days without the touch of a man. Just still, okay? All right. I'll just have Alan and his gigantic horse cock all to myself then. Speaking of which, you want to grab dinner? No, I gotta meet this guy for my church. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I was driving northbound approximately 20 minutes ago. She said she never even saw the guy. Wait, this was a car accident? Yeah. Who but... called this in? Wait, wait, wait. Who called this in? Who's in charge here? I would be late. You mind telling me why I received this call? Last time I checked, you are a detective, right? As you well know, this should be handled by the traffic unit, not homicide. Traffic, yeah. Let me tell you something, Sorensen. I've been on this force for 15 years, okay? I've never seen a car cause those type of injuries. I tried to tell you. Are there any witnesses? In broad fucking daylight? Can you believe it? No neighbors, no cars passing by? Jesus Christ. He just might be the only one who saw any of this. I'm gonna go see what she has to say. And tread lightly, sir. She's very upset. He asked me what seemed like a million questions. And the whole time I kept thinking that maybe John was still alive. Maybe I didn't hit him that hard. But when the cop told me what really happened, I just can't get the image out of my head. Hey, it's not your fault. 
Did they eventually find any witnesses? I don't think so. Please, let's not talk about this anymore. Well, I mean, somebody must have seen something. You know, a guy, a guy just doesn't vanish. Drop the it, all right? Look, it just makes me a little nervous not knowing where the psychotic man with a butcher's knife went. Well, you know? what do you want from me? For all I know, he could be standing outside this tent right now. Tell your friends he has five minutes to clear out of here or I'm calling the police. Wait, what? What's wrong? Hello? I caught him slipping it into my beer. I thought it was my beer, Brett. You're so full of shit. Did you know your friend was a rapist? Oh, don't flatter yourself. You fucking scumbag. Calm down. You fucking calm down. How could you try to hook me up with such a bitch, bro? That's where I will end you! All right, all right, all right. Where's Alan? I told you you couldn't make it. Look, it's gonna be dawn and like- I don't care. I just want him out of here. Well, maybe we could figure out some way to- I do too, Brett. Dude, maybe you should just- uh, Whatever, man. I gotta take a piss. A prescription medication, okay? Regardless, you know how I feel about this kind of thing. Yes, but what if it was an honest mistake? <laughs> I'll give you an honest mistake. We've been watching this low life for two months now. Constant flow of prostitutes in and out of his office every night. Him? Either that or Charlie Shane. <laughs> Here's the fucking weird shit, man. This morning, it starts going on and on about how he knows who butchered that pastor on Spruce Street. What's so weird about that? There's no way he could have known. I locked him up on Thursday. He's been down here ever since. <laughs> Timothy Grimes? In the flesh. I have a few questions for you, sir. <laughs> yeah, I see you're a busy man, so I'll cut right to the chase. How did you know a pastor was gonna be murdered earlier today? It is a cruel world we live in. <laughs> you think this is fucking funny, freak? Relax. Relax. Funny is the time, and it is near. Do you know who did it, Timothy? Did what? I'm warning you, pal. Release me, and I'll gladly cooperate. You can't just release you. You've already been charged. But I could put a good word in with the judge for you. I serve not under you. This is going nowhere. Nowhere till you bleed. What's that? It is coming. What is your time to suffer? <laughs> Son of a bitch is crazier than a shithouse rat. Hello? Hello? Hello, Steven? Steven? Dad? Dad? Hello? Ah, fucking cunt. Slipping that shit so she shut up for a minute. God damn it. Who the fuck is that? Kevin Klein, asshole, they're worth more than your life. Son of a bitch! Danielle, you fucking whore! Are you kidding me? Who's out there?
Steve? You guys stop it. I heard something over there. The numb nuts? Get your shit and get out of here, you'll be sorry. Yeah, man, don't make me go kick your ass. Something's out there. Go get your friend. Go. Come on, man. You think you've caused enough trouble already? Nothing back here. What the hell was it then? I don't know. It was a grizzly bear. Very funny. <laughs>
pick that up on Saturday. Yeah, I'll try and have it ready for four. Flying oh. solo today. This is so unlike her, I can't believe it. She didn't call or anything? Nope. I suppose this job doesn't mean that much to her. Now, don't say that. Eileen's a good girl. Soon to be an unemployed girl. I just hope she's all right. So do I, actually. Do you have her number? No, she changed it about a month ago. She was getting these strange phone calls or something. Do you know where she lives? She's in those apartment complexes over on Henderson, but I don't know which one. I'll swing by on my way home, see if her car's in the lot. Oh, thank you. No trouble at all. What can I get you, boss? What can I get for you, boss? Hello? Buddy, I don't have all day here. You stay out of here. This is a family establishment. Fucking druggies. Who's next? This is yours? I've made breakfast if you're hungry. Do I know you? You can call me Ryan. And you are Eileen, correct? Peanut butter and jelly for breakfast? I uh, just moved in yesterday. Those were the only things I found left in the cabinets. You have quite a taste in furniture. It came with the play. Oh, thank you. Sorry if I seem a little freaked out. It's uh, quite understandable. Do you have any idea what happened to my friends last night? Well, the girl was attacked at her car in the parking lot. She managed to get away, though, safely, for now. <laughs> she was extremely fortunate. Did you see what was after us? Yes, it was an evil entity of some sorts. What? Demons, you better know them as. No, not funny. The pastor. <laughs> What happened out in the woods? Cock cheese! <laughs> they are all around you. Right. Where's your bathroom? It's right through that door. Thanks. I'll be right back. This is the police. 
I want you to stay where you are and put your hands above your head. I didn't blow your head off. Oh, oh. You call for backup or not? What's going on? Found a goddamn head in the woods. What? Where? It's the yard that way. Hey, you alright? I knew the kid. He was friends with my son. Shit. Steven called me last night. We lost a connection, remember? I don't know if he was with him or. Um, can I please speak to Officer McGowan? My name's Daniel Starcher. I spoke with him last night down at the station. My friends and I... Right. <sighs> okay, thank you. Bye. Who is it? You call for a plumber, ma'am? Do you have any identification? Who called it in last week? The appointment's for 11? Is it raining in here? No, sorry. Um, come in. It's it's right behind here. Eileen. Eileen. scared me. Didn't your parents teach you not to sneak up on people? They've taught me a lot of things. Who are you here with? My mom. She with the doctor now? Where is she? all of your paperwork? Yes. Excuse me, but do you know who that little girl belonged to? She seemed confused or lost or something. What little girl? The little girl over. Follow me. struck by automobiles? I was referring more to what happened to your husband's eyes. 
Everybody loved Johnny. I have no idea who could have done this. Had your husband been in trouble recently? Say, financially? Not that I know of. Would anyone stand to gain from his death? Sorensen? Have you ever heard the name Timothy Grimes? Detective Sorensen. What? I'm sorry, sir, but you need to take a look down here. Excuse me, ma'am. Detective. I wouldn't go down there if I were you. I found your problem. This uh, trap was clogged solid. Are you going to be able to fix it? Yeah, no biggie. It's actually pretty common with women living together with hair and stuff over time. Look at those arms. Excuse me? Bet you work out a lot. I wouldn't say a lot. Mm. Don't be so modest. You probably could kick some serious ass. Actually, more for show. I'm a uh, bouncer on Friday nights. Really? Yeah, the gentleman's club. So you're probably practiced in protecting women's bodies? You say that. No, because I'm currently looking for someone to wash over mine. You interested? You've had a rough couple of days now, haven't you? And tomorrow's your birthday and everything. Tell me about it. Seems like everything's all right. There are no signs of any sexual contact. But what concerns me is that your pulse rate and your blood pressure are sky high. I've just been so nervous lately. I want to run some blood work on you. I don't think that's necessary. I mean, I feel fine. There have been times when a patient appears perfectly normal, only to later find a narcotic has been administered into their system. I hate needles. But wait a minute, don't you think you should speak with the police? I have to find my roommate, I'm sorry. I'll stop by the station later. Well, have a happy birthday. First time, can't you? No, you cannot. <sighs> you really let loose on me there. I've never been one to hold back. Join me in the bedroom. Now you want to go to the bedroom?
Eileen? Eileen? You have to get your things. We have to get you out of here. is going on are you sure you don't need to use the bathroom again tell me now sit down Eileen many have predicted that the world would end near the turn of the 21st century and if truth be told that would be the least of their problems you see the time is now upon us when the most powerful of all evil beings shall rise up and challenge for the throne you mean like... Lucifer. It has been many years since his exile, and he has grown immensely in both knowledge and power. Now he wants Earth? Earth is already his. Has been for the past 6,000 years. Contrary to popular religious belief, Lucifer and his demonic forces call the shots down here. What does he want then? Elysium, or heaven as you would know it. If this was accomplished, every soul that has ever existed or ever will exist would fall under the Dark Prince's control. The eternal suffering that this would cause is unimaginable. It would be the end of peace, the end of happiness, the end 
of love. What does all that have to do with me, though? Because you see, Lucifer only exists now in the spirit world. He will need a vessel in order to rise up and achieve his goals. 8,765 days ago, a host was selected and a possession ordained for tomorrow on their 24th birthday. Oh my God. God is more frightened than anyone. I don't give two shits how long it's been. And you fucking tell him I want an APB put out immediately. God damn it. Detective, I, uh, I need to speak with you. And I need to speak to you. The desk was giving me a hard time about it all points. I don't need to be read the rules by some 23-year-old, still wet behind the ears, glorified secretary. Hey, do you think the chief would get mad if I posted these pictures to my profile? And who the fuck promoted her homicide? What is she, like 12? Detective, please. Can we step outside for a moment? So I don't have time for this. That is the only real lead we've had in this case, and I don't need you or anybody else. Okay. okay. It's about your son. Ryan? You still up? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought no, I... no, come in. I can't sleep. I wanted to ask you something. Why the eyes? What? You stab them in their eyes. The only way an entity can exit a body is through the eyes. So by stabbing out the eyes and then killing the body, it encases the entity. That's what you wanted to ask me? Why me? Before becoming the Dark Prince, Lucifer was originally a seraph. What's a seraph? Angels you know them as. Lucifer was the angel, known as the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and majestic in his beauty. We all liked him very much. He began to attract quite a large following, large enough to make others feel threatened. Entrenched in his own pride, he was banished from Elysium along with his followers. They were cast out of their seraph forms and into the spirit world. Now, in order for Lucifer to make his journey back into the kingdom of Elysium, he must first possess the body of a seraph. You're wrong. 50% on your mother's side. Your father was a mortal man. This makes you one of a kind, Eileen. But unfortunately, this is seen as a weakness. How does it get inside? They've sought the answer to that question for thousands of years, nearly eliminating our entire species in the process. But now they know the only way to succeed as if the Seraph welcomes Lucifer inside their body and accepts him. A true Seraph would never allow that to happen. But with you being half human... Are you an angel too? One of the last. And the future of our entire species now depends on the two of us. Another grisly murder in the small, quiet town of Rich Haven. A boy, identified as 28-year-old Steven Sorensen, was found stabbed to death just outside the center of town. Investigators say that both of his eyes had been forcibly removed, the third crime of this nature to hit this small town in the past 48 hours. 
Security cameras seen here show two suspects as they leave the building around the time of the homicide. Authorities are asking citizens to please call in with any information they may have on the two. They also urge people not to approach the suspects as they are both considered to be armed and dangerous. <gasps> Hello. I just saw a story on the news about a boy and a girl the police may be looking for. They may have killed somebody. Know who they are. I think one of them may be living right under my roof. Sarah? Before I send Jackie, put this back if you'd be so kind. Time's up, bud. Sick son of a bitch. Luck upon exiting, dear. Jackie? Barely you have been paid. No swallow, no tip. Well, hello there, Arion. It's been a long time. It certainly has. Uh, to what do I owe this pleasure? Oh, I've just come to exact my eternal revenge upon thee. Relax, I need your assistance. With what? Do you watch the news? Not regularly. I don't know who the boy is. I'm sure you do know who the girl is. And you're aware of the significance of this time. Help me find them. You'll be greatly compensated. A new body. Will he suit my uh, ambitions? He's a lawyer. Perfect. My safety. I will guarantee it. Your previous <clears throat> disloyalties will be forgotten. A clean slate, and nothing up here will ever touch you. To put your mind at ease a bit, I've brought with me a little protection policy. I know I feel safer already. How about you? Not really. Get on with it. You know that keeping quiet isn't helping your cause, right? I know who you are. It's 
squeaky clean Eileen. <laughs> Do you think that I've never seen anybody in withdrawal before? We have Ryan in custody, you know, and I can guarantee you will not think twice about filing a plea and selling you out to save his own ass. When I was younger, I met a boy. My parents hated him. Teachers at school hated him, which only in turn made me like him even more. He got me mixed up with drugs, heroin. On my 17th birthday, I dropped two bags into my right arm and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Two days later, I woke up and the doctors informed me that I was pregnant six months along. I immediately quit cold turkey. I went to see the doctors regularly. I ate and drank the right things. She lived only one day, not even 14 hours. Eileen, please let me help you. Now it's the only thing I need is a penny. I put it through my nose instead of my face so people can't tell. Every night before I fall asleep, I wonder what she would be like right now. Would she look like me? Would she have big blue eyes like her daddy? I think about it every single night. I always knew I was going to be punished for what I did. Please, just tell me what you're mixed up in. Do not speak to my client. So he shoots me this smug little smile and he waltzes her out of there like the white Johnny Cochran. What judge did he speak to? Ron Patterson. Fat, stupid son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. I had to take a shit. McGowan? Officer McGowan? resides here. How did you get in here? This is a restricted area. Are you going to answer my question? What did you say your name was? Uh, never disturb a man when he's on the throne. Take your time in there. Are you his girlfriend? Do you have a problem with that? You have no idea who you're fucking with. Are you a real lawyer? Yeah. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. Ryan hired you? Yeah, 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 Ryan, yeah. Have a seat. Take a load off. You look tired. so much about you. It is so nice to finally meet you face to face. You're much prettier than I expected. Thank you. You're welcome. Now sit the fuck down. I'm sorry, but it's been a really rough week. Oh, I bet it has. Unfortunately, it's not gonna get any easier. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna have to kick this little thing into a whole new direction. Oh, really? What the hell's going on? Who's this? Why, I'm Danielle, Eileen Evans' roommate. How did she get in here? I'm looking for Ryan. We've been looking for you. Well, here I am, old man. How do you know Stephen? Who? You know damn well who. The boy who was found murdered in your apartment. Oh, that's right, your son. How do you know that? What a shame. A young soul like that to have to suffer the torments of Hades. What? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, Stevie's little soul is rotting in hell as we speak. Come on, Sorensen, stop it. Let's do this the right way. I am. Do this, I have always wanted. Shall we begin? Take off her pants. on Greg's list. What exactly are you? Even if I were willing to tell you, would you believe me? Probably not. Why all the salt? It's a pure element. It can be a most powerful weapon against an impure being. Sorensen! I wish I could have saved him. I mean, I saw the girl as she walked towards the stairs, but she was wearing these sunglasses. It, 
It makes it difficult, nearly impossible to tell. We'll need to prepare for an attack. An attack? No, we need to get out of here. It will not allow us. No. Evil's primary purpose is to rid the Earth of my kind. What? We'll need to fight our way out of this. Sorry, we're closed. Wait a tick. Aren't you the boy? <laughs> You fools do not stand a chance. I admire your confidence. Chance. The two of us can come to an agreement? That all depends. On what? Who you have aligned with. My allegiance is only to myself. It always has been. I will soon teach you a lesson, but Not tonight you won't. Have fun. <laughs> something over here this way this way this way over here this way good detective are you okay afraid to show yourself you should be in the presence of holy beings you are powerless
handle me, huh? Hmm, this is gonna be more fun than I thought. How have you remained hidden from me for all these years? Maybe you're not as smart as you'd like to believe. Well, apparently, you aren't either. I wouldn't count me out. Just yet. Oh, no. No! girl like you doing in a place like this? Little Miss Goody Goody. Still chasing the dragon, I see. Leave me alone, you fucking cut! Ooh, you better watch it with that dirty talk. You're making me wet. been ever since I took your little girl. Oh yes, Seraph blood ran through her veins as well. I thought that an infant born to an unknowing human would be the easiest way in. Poor little thing. She just wasn't strong enough to survive the possession. Oh well, you live and learn. Fuck you! I'll never accept any of you into my body! <laughs>
place where I can keep my eye on you, honey. I really appreciate it. Just right over on the sofa would be great. But I want you to know I've got a good feeling about things. You do? Yes. Apparently, you have more angels around you than you know what to do with. <laughs> but seriously, Eileen, you were meant to survive this whole ordeal. I know I was. I try to warn you. What am I supposed to do? There's something else you need to know. There are others, powerful entities that are attempting to inhabit you as well for the chance to seize such power. They hope to get inside before Lucifer, and then lead the march on Elysium themselves. Make no mistake, Lucifer will dispatch of these traitors one by one. And then, he will attempt to deceive you at every turn, lure you in, and gain your confidence. I mean, I saw the girl. She was wearing these sunglasses. It makes it difficult, nearly impossible to tell. Officer McGowan! to succeed is if the Seraph welcomes Lucifer inside their body and accepts him. It would be the end of peace, the end of happiness, the end of love. Cubus, you always were too ambitious for your own good. And I always knew you'd try to get in before I did. You and your little minions have now all been taken care of? Well, I'll accept for one, that is. I have to admit, you're much prettier than I expected. I bet you say that to all the girls. Are you ready for your interview? Can't wait. Please. Enter. 